Hey friends, Raynet here, and today we're finally going to get to the play field of this circus machine. So I've been procrastinating on, procrastinating on this for quite a while, but we're obviously going to clean, take it all apart, refurbish everything, make sure everything's working. Um, this is... actually working pretty good it looks good on the back the front is incredibly dirty so hopefully that'll all buff out but we are going to take the plunge and do some Tupac clear coating and all that jazz so last time or one of the times we built this rotisserie here. So we gotta do some figuring. Get this son bitch on there. First thing of which I think is take these aprons off. So let's get that rolling. If you know of anywhere that makes decals for this, let me know. Well, we got her up on our rotisserie here. Let's see, it's got a little gunk on it. Even in the back, which I thought was a little strange. So it doesn't go all the way around. I need to take the rails off so I can flip my clamps around so it'll go all the way around. But see, it's pretty hard to turn it, so that's good. Um. So you can see how messed up the play field is. I think a lot of that will come out when we clean it, I hope. So we gotta do some work here, get the rest of this off of here. One thing that worries me is we got our drawn a blank general illumination lights back here that are kind of in the way. They actually had these plastic sleeves over them, which were interesting. There were some that had the red up and some that had the yellow up. I assume it's supposed to be red, but hell, I don't know. So let's keep stripping, taking pictures as we go so we know what to do when we put it back together. And we'll see if we find anything else interesting. All right, got all the plastics off. So if you want to see what it's going to look like here, or should look like, I guess it's a better way to put it. Hopefully it'll look that good. Everywhere that you move one of these, it looks shiny and new, so. We'll get there. It's gonna take a lot of work to get this in shape, but it'll be worth it. So let's keep going. Figured I should take a short video before I get into it here. Got all the rails off. In case you're wondering, the inside rail screws on, the outside rail nails on, so don't pull it off. Got this flipper off. Took a bunch of pictures of the back too. I had to take this off to get to that hole right there to get that damn screw out to get the rail off. So I'm gonna take the flipper assembly out. I'm gonna have to clean it anyway, so I'll take that, zip tie it to here. Do the same with this one. And just keep rolling on down. So I'm going through stripping the play field here. Zip tying everything to the wiring harness. Get it all up out of the way so I can clear all the holes. <clears throat> 
and this coil has been replaced obviously because it looks like it got burnt all the shit and I was looking at the schematics and it says the advanced bonus relay does that and uh, you know there's four switches that advance the bonus anyway this one right here had a piece of glass stuck in between the deal and the other deal which between the switch and the play field rather than deal and other deal um so i'd imagine that was what caused that to catch on fire and as it was still there it would have done it when we took this you know did this without taking this apart so that was a pretty good find come over here you see i'm just working my way i got the the lane holes out flippers slingshots stand-up targets this one's loose i just gotta take it zip tie it uh so then i gotta do the three rollovers up here and the bumpers pop and otherwise then i gotta take the rails and nails and stuff off take these switches out there's four of them here and then these holes up here i might take these out and tape over them versus leaving GI holes or bulbs in them like people do just because they're so big but we're getting there I noted in one of my other videos that this is a flipper coil not necessarily a pop bumper coil and it needs to be replaced obviously look at this solder job Anyway, let's look in here, and here's the end of stroke switch, and it's not even, not even hooked up. This looks like it's hooked up right, although, I mean, how that's not touching, I don't know. So we're going to have to do some work here. But otherwise, it, it looks right. So, that's probably why this coil is toasty because it doesn't ever know when to turn off the thumper bumper relay. It's right here. Although it's not hot anyway. So, just thought that was interesting. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Here's another thing. This is another tilt switch. Power comes from here and this is the tilt wire. So, to get another one of them, Well, we got everything off. All the lights. Everything at this play field is absolutely filthy. So I checked all the inserts and they were all good. It's all very tight. This one, I barely touched it. It totally just popped out in my hand. So, I mean, it is what it is. I got some glue and some plastic primer stuff somewhere. We'll do that. I think I'm gonna wipe this off with naphtha and we'll see what it does. And then we'll call it. This video is getting kind of long. Let me get some and we'll go for it. Well, I did this half over here. Hopefully you can kind of tell. Definitely got some issues. So. Next time we'll whip out the rubbing alcohol and magic eraser. 
go to town and see what we can do. See if we can rub through the paint. Um, yeah, I gotta, I wanna build a little box for it so we can just set it on some saw horses so I don't have to fear about it wobbling off. And I don't get paint all over this when I try and paint it. So anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know how bad I screwed this up. And keep it real. Stay tuned while we see if we can fix this. Later.